Oh, yay, oh, yay, oh, yay. On November 14, 2011, the Supreme Court granted review in the Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act, the health care legislation passed by the Obama administration in 2010. These cases present some complex questions for uh, the court to address, and the court has specified five and a half hours of oral argument in these cases. The purpose in my comments today is to reflect on this five and a half hours of oral argument and compare it to other cases that have been argued with exceptional oral argument times. Just as background, since uh, the period in the late 1960s, the Supreme Court has specified an hour of oral argument in most cases. In exceptional cases, it will grant a longer period of oral argument. And our records at the OEA project uh, tell us that this specification of five and a half hours for the healthcare challenge is the longest oral argument uh, since the 1970s. There have been cases that have been argued longer, and I thought to identify a couple of them. Perhaps the, the case with the longest oral argument is Brown versus Board of Education, which was argued twice for a total of 15 hours, starting in 1953, re-argued in 1954, and, and decided in 1954. Then the Supreme Court heard arguments for 13 and a half hours in the second part of that case called Brown versus Board of Education II. And those two cases represent the longest oral arguments that we have identified so far. There have been other cases that have been argued uh, an exceptionally long time, not nearly as long as Brown, but longer than the Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act cases that are coming before the court in March. One of those cases was South Carolina versus Katzenbach, a challenge to the 1965 Voting Rights Act. It was argued for a bit more than seven hours. Then there was Arizona, Miranda versus Arizona, which was argued for about six hours in the Supreme Court. Uh, death penalty cases of 1976 was argued for a bit more than five hours. Uh, these represent the among the longest arguments that we can identify, but uh, nothing uh, more recently comes uh, close to the five and a half hours that the court has set aside for the health care challenge. So that just gives you a sense of how important uh, this case is to the Roberts Court. 